your show and, and went from there. Uh, before we get started, and once again, folks, remember, if you have any questions, the mic's on the side. You might want to start lining up anytime you're ready. I had already briefed them, and unfortunately, a third member who was scheduled to be here could not. Right. And I'm sure everyone wasn't, wasn't understanding in agreement. They were understanding of that. But if there's anything that you like to say to Shannon right now, uh, we will make sure that it won't get out on the internet. Or no, not at all. Okay. Nobody has their cameras on at all. Is there something you'd like to say? No, there's nothing. I'll we'll say get well soon. Moving right get along. Well uh, <laughs> it's really good to see you guys. You guys are beautiful. You have not aged a day. Oh, uh, thank you. You, you being this close to you. <laughs> Being this close to you is, is, is a joy because both of you guys are, 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 are beautiful. You're, you're beautiful too. All right, uh, can you, at least I've worked past cute. It's good. Jeez. All right, before we move on to the questions, yeah, big screen. Before we move on to the questions, if you guys can pretty, fill, pretty much fill us in on your experience working uh, on Charmed, uh, you may answer a few of the questions that these folks might be lining up right now, but if you can just give us a little bit of an idea of what it was like to be in a series such as Charmed. Ugh, rough. Rough? I had to kiss this guy. I'm on a few of them. It wasn't really fair though. You didn't get any other girlfriends, did you? No. no, they were in the ether that you didn't ether. know about. That's good, that's where we like to keep them. Yeah. That's where they shall remain. Uh, you know, it was, it was really fun. I mean, the, the one thing I think with most television shows is when you play a, a, a doctor procedural show, you're always the doctor, you're always the cop, you're always oh, yeah, no, the same that. thing. And the one thing on our show is that, you know, one year a week you're a Wendigo, the next one you're <laughs> an avatar. So you, it was kind of, you're able to play a lot of different characters. And I think as an actor, it's um, kind challenging. of a, challenging. Challenging. But it makes it fun. Yes. I, I had fun. <laughs> Evil Leo. Evil Leo, good. Okay. <laughs> Gladiator uh, Leo. Gladiator. <laughs> you could have been on Spartacus. I could You know, the only reason they did it is because I shaved my head. And um, when I came back to the set, uh, our executive producer uh, was like, and, and who are you? <laughs> I thought I was getting fired instantly. Because your haircut? Because your hair of my hair? haircut, yeah. yeah. That, then you just became military Leo. Yeah. G.I. Joe Leo. And then bitter Leo. Bitter Leo. Yeah. I like bitter Leo. Bitter Leo. <laughs> Let's see what kind of questions we have out there. Anyway, because we can just go on like this for a while. We do. We will tonight <laughs> at dinner. Um, Over here on this side, do you have a question? Anybody? Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, over the life of Charm, you two had to portray a whole relationship getting to know each other, falling in love, getting married, having kids, the ups, the downs. Can you tell us a little bit how you worked on that as actors and how you worked on that together? <laughs> well, we were sort of going through those things in real life at the time. Well, you were already married. I was getting married. No. You were getting you were divorced. I was getting married. Yeah. Next. I got pregnant. Then you got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> then I got pregnant again. And then you started dating. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! So we were going through a lot of those motions in real life, and so it was easy to play. <laughs> well, and, and we had known each other for a little bit before the show, ki kind of. Uh, so it was, you know, having a a friendship uh, helped us, I think, be comfortable with each other a, it was a little like bit. like kissing your brother. <laughs> Sorry. Step brother. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not half brother. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't 
don't know why they let us talk at these things. We really don't. Thank you. Thank you. How about this side? Hi, sir. Go for it. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I've got really two questions. One's for Shannon. She's not here. But okay. I'll, I'll play I, uh, her. But, <laughs> but, but the, the Shannon question is, has she ever met Rose McGowan? And, well, yes. Okay. I think they have briefly. Because that would be a cool picture to see. At a parte. Um, and what yeah. would you like to see in the charm reunion? You'd like to see those two together? Absolutely. I don't see why not. I assume you'd like to be up for it. This is a chemistry we haven't tapped into yet. <laughs> I would love to see that. I would too. <laughs> see you at the photo. Okay. That would be the power of four. Hi. Go for it. Power squared. Um, if there is anything you could have changed about the ending of the whole series of Charm, what would it have been, or if you would have even? I have a really cheesy answer. For that. <laughs> I would have had it not end. Oh, see. <laughs> with the way it ended because we got to wrap it up and you know we got to explain where we went in our lives and you know we had the opportunity to to really end it in a way that was meaningful for I think all of us I can speak for all of us because they're all not here <laughs> thank you you're welcome and I didn't end up with Dan so you were happy I was happy no, I, I think I think as a writer, as for the fans, I mean, yeah. uh, generally shows end, and you, you know, you didn't get a chance to wrap up a show. I mean, how many or shows? Or they like to leave a lot of questions unanswered, which really irritates the hell out of me. <laughs> but we got to wrap it up quite nicely in a little box. With a bow. With a bow. With a bow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> While Charmed has a magical, mystical quality about it, it was also very spiritual. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering how the spirituality of it affected you, if you studied Wicca, even though it wasn't accurately portrayed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we had to be really careful because in the beginning, uh, there were people that were upset it wasn't accurate enough. And then when we looked more into it and researched it more, there were people that were upset that it was too accurate. And they felt we were putting energy out there that we should not be messing with. So it was a very fine line that we sort of had to dance around. And, um, you know, in the end, we had to make it, you know, entertainment and well-meaning. And, you know, that's all we could do. It was certainly entertaining, and I really appreciated that. I was just wondering if it did things for your personal spirituality in, in going through that journey in the show. Um, you know, for me personally, it was about the relationships that I built while I was there, which there were a few of, and a few I took away from there. And um, it was like a family for us. It was a family that we made, and it was a family of many different beliefs. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Brian, what, what did it do for you? Um, well, this, this, I'm actually Greg. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Greg? <laughs> no, um... You played a lot of golf. Yeah, yeah I played a lot of golf. It was his golf. religion. <laughs> um, was you know, it, it was always nice playing the, uh, the, the guy who had the, the moral compass. And, um, you know, the, the whole show was about the greater good and, and overcoming. Can't believe you just said that. The bad. I mean, it's true. It's like, <laughs> you know, I have a faith and, um, you know, a lot of people I know haven't watched this show because it goes against Christianity or whatever. And, you know, what I told them is yeah, like, it's, it's really, it's good versus evil and good always wins. And, yeah. Um, you know, it's nice to be able to deliver that message uh, and play the good guy. You might not want to show up for our zombie panel. That, I know. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Hello. Uh, you guys are great. I love the show. I love everything. This is sort of a two-part question. Okay. Uh, the first part, it was such an emotional show. So many ups and downs. Tell me about it. There, <laughs> there, was, there were many parts where you guys had to cry. Oh, yeah. How difficult was it to do the crying parts? I just suck right in the eye. <laughs> Pulse some <Make> nose hairs. <laughs> No, you know, there was, it, again, it was like we played a lot of different aspects of our characters and sometimes different hairy aspects, animals, beasts, demons, angels, you know, there was so many different costumes to wear. And then in the course of a day, there was so many th different things for us to do, whereas, you know, in the morning we might 
start off crying and you know somebody died and you know then we'd have to do a silly scene in the afternoon and then we'd get thrown into a wall at the end of the day because that's when they like to beat us up and send us home so it was challenging but at the same time when I do jobs now I'm not naming any names but when I do jobs now I kind of miss you know that aspect of having so much to do in a day and having such a broad range of emotions and and things to do so you know there was a certain point during Charmed where I wanted to sit at a table and do a scene and just say words and do nothing else you know and now I'd really like to blow something up <laughs> All right. The second part of that question then is, what is the chance of a Charmed reunion or a Charmed movie? Um, well, I can say this, more and more people are asking that question, so as that begins to happen more and more, the people who own the rights to the show may hear it. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey man, what's up? Hey Ollie. Hello. Hi Brian. Hi <laughs> Holly. Told you once again, Holly, you need a sister. Yeah, yeah, you know. I have my people call your people. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, my question, I have two questions. Um, the first question was, when you two had to switch bodies because of the soothsayer, or as what Piper called him, the quack, um, how was that portraying each other? Because Brian nailed your personality down to a tick. <laughs> I think I need to rewatch this episode. <laughs> Don't give me a chill. <laughs> Um, did I do that laugh? I probably tried. <laughs> um, it's, it's never easy to play somebody else, let alone the opposite sex. But, um, you know, Charmed asked a lot of things of us, and thankfully we knew each other pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the second part of the question was, in your last panel, I saw that you uh, said when Rose first came on, she was doodling in the Book of Shadows. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, he knows. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to ask, were there any mistakes or things that you did on your first days on the set? Like Me? That? Both Hell of you. no. Both of you. <laughs> Make mistakes? You probably did something wrong. I, every other day, every day. <laughs> Yeah, the perfectionist. Yeah, no, well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. If you need an agent to try to get a job with these guys, um, you can, I can hook you up. So you <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. So, out of all the evil entities that you had to be throughout the show, which one was your favorite to, like, become? I, I was an evil. Yes, you were. Right? Evil Leo. Evil Leo. Yeah, that Hairdo. was. Yeah, that was good. I got leather pants and the whole bit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think mine was. I want to say I, I, it was Future Piper, wasn't it? Was my leather getup? Anybody know? Anybody? Bueller. Yes. Yes. She said Thank that's you. the one where Rose started off as the sister? Yes. If you guys ever forget any episode that you've ever done, you just <laughs> ask anybody. That's good. Yes. 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 Favorite show in the whole entire world. Um, <laughs> what was you guys' least favorite episode that you had, guys filmed? I think everybody knows what mine is. Complained enough. Say it again. Yes. Which one? Linda. That freaking pink dress. <laughs> like a wig. Everything about that entire episode was scratchy, mm. itchy, in a bad way. <laughs> Me, I, you know. I, I don't even remember what that episode was about. I just remember the dress and the wig and the tiara. What? It was cute. It was cute. Stop. The writers, the writers were mad at me that year. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
I think this is why we all grow up, so we don't ever have to wear anything like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. For me, I don't know. Uh, probably when I was frozen into oblivion and oh, that was had to hard. go away, and they said goodbye. Hey, at least you were just frozen. I had to cry to the ice cube. <laughs> Convincingly. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, buddy. What's up? Hi. Um, I have two questions. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat kind of, I kind of got nervous. That's um, alright. Don't get nervous. Um, my first question is, what was it work like working with Wyatt or the the babies? kid? Yeah, the uh -huh. babies who played with Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> Brian was really good with them. <laughs> I'm a dad! So nobody was a, a mom yet, no. you know, I was like, oh, Nobody, hey. nobody in question was a mom yet, no. Yeah. Um, well, until later. Right, yeah. Um, you know, they, we traumatized them a bit. How, how many, we went to two, three different sets of yeah. twins? Yeah, there was more than one. Until <laughs> <laughs> really um, we decided on those babies. But yeah, you know, we, we had to make it like a home environment for them because they'd often come into these like weird sets with weird people and weird costumes and it would rightfully so freak a baby out. So we used to like bring them in on their off time to just play in, in the sets until they got more comfortable. Especially when they orb everywhere. Yeah, it's hard to keep track of them. <laughs> and my second question was, now, I love Ashley Tisdale to death. I know that she's like, she was on the show. Is she really as annoying as she seems? Not, no. That was convincing. No. Who's Ashley Tisdale? Oh, shh. I really don't know. I know. <laughs> Thank you. People are stuck with laughing. I'm serious. <laughs> Moving on. Next question. It's okay. We're not filming. Tell yeah, us right. everything. Okay, sure. <laughs> that already went up on YouTube. <laughs> okay, real quick, guys. Just so we can get through as many people, and hopefully all of you guys, let's try to limit your question to one at a time. That way you can get back in the back of the line if you have a second question, okay? Go for it. Hi. Oh, we're on this side, right? There you go. Hi. Um, I wanted to know, with everything that you incorporated into Charm, was there any mythology that you did, like, afterwards, you're like, oh, I wish we did that, like, the regular Zodiac, I remember you guys did the Chinese Zodiac, mm -hmm. but was there anything you're like, damn, that would have been good? God, I think we covered it all. <laughs> I think we ran out of ideas. <laughs> Even you started writing. Yeah, well, I just one idea. <laughs> I came to me, I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people that. You're oh. supposed to say you were inspired. I was kidding. Yeah, night. I was inspired one night. Late, Late at night. Inspired, <laughs> drunk. Yeah, yeah. I think there's uh, the, the beauty of our writers. I mean, it's it's endless when you we deal with no witchcraft. Guys. It's, I mean, the storylines. That's the thing. You know, you say our show ended at eight years. I mean, it could have just kept going. Yeah, and like going, we did the going. western, right? <laughs> We did the like medieval times thing. You did the pink dress. I did the pink did the dress. dress. <laughs> she was the good witch, right? Yeah. But you never did any Nordic mythology. No, that's guess... too cold. That means there's well, gonna well, be snow. Brian can do it. He could be Thor. Can you see Brian as Thor? Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I just need some hair. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy that. <laughs> uh, did that answer your question, sir? Pretty much? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. They're in the autograph line. You can ask them again. <laughs> Hi. 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 I have the same question for both of you. <clears throat> what was your most embarrassing moment on set? <laughs> I'm never embarrassed. <laughs> I make mistakes. No. I'm sure, um... Did you have one that you know of? You do. I, I mean, I was embarrassed a lot. Why? Uh, you guys, I mean, they picked on me a lot. <gasps> no, she doesn't yeah. mean behind the scenes. Oh. She means on 
I think. Oh, I mean, on camera, fun? right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, on camera. Yeah, something embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> uh, mm. Well, the girls had to act like babies. I didn't have to do that. Did I? Was it season one or yeah, two? I had to get the shower. That was like. Uh, yeah, with me. <laughs> you weren't embarrassed? Wow. <laughs> okay, lean back so I can kick you. <laughs> um, yeah, that, no, that was embarrassing. Mostly because Shannon was in the bathroom with us, though. That's right. It's tended to complicate things. Made, made it awkward. She, uh, she enjoyed it. <laughs> she did. She did? She was evil. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of changes things. Again. Again. I don't know why they let us talk. <laughs> yeah, now that's embarrassing. <laughs> Perfect. Brian, any embarrassing? Oh, that was, you know, I mean, I, I yeah, don't like getting naked on camera. I, that was probably pretty embarrassing. You know, there's a ton of, uh, yeah, off-camera things. We're not allowed to talk about That's right. That. We signed that paper. That's right. There is no one filming. There's not no at all. recording devices in this room like, at all. The, those flashes are just strobe lights. Yeah, it's, it's, always hard, uh, it's always hard getting emotional for me. I mean, it to be any sort of emotion. Because so. you're such a manly man. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. I don't like people looking at me much. Yeah. Well, nobody's looking at you right now. Good. Just looking at the big, superimposed face of yours on the screen. Perfect. Above your head. <laughs> you know, men are sensitive. Yeah. He's not sensitive anymore. Right. Not after eight this years. show may desensitize me for sure. <laughs> you, you spend 12 hours a day for eight years with three women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we digress. <laughs> Bromance, sorry. <laughs> Even. Was that okay, man? Yes, thank you. <laughs> More than, you can stay in there until they give you a real answer, right? Yeah, okay. well. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Yes. Are you not plugged in, are you? No. Oh. Okay. Just check it. My question would be, if you can go back to the beginning, would you change your character or being, like, play a different person besides Piper or Leo? No, I was supposed to be a different person besides Piper, and I chose Piper, so... For me, that would be no. No. Um, every other guy died. <laughs> so. This is true. Or just went away. George so. faded away. Yeah, uh, yeah. I got, I got lucky with Leo. That was serious job security, wasn't it? Yeah. Lucky, yeah. lucky Leo. Yeah, the, oh. the worst part is when you get powers on our show, you usually die. <laughs> Why so are you pointing at me with that? <laughs> Oh, he's actually pointing at you. Have I can't minutes. see that far without my glasses. <laughs> you just can't let me. The power of That's ten. That's not enough time. <laughs> see how many people we have here? It's like the Oscars. But let's talk about it. Somewhere. All right, we'll talk faster. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's Mo. Turn we around and show him uh, your best part. We have yeah, today. <laughs> How about hello. you over there, sir? Hello. Hi. Thanks, Bo. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right. Um, so, number one, I think there should be a Kickstarter campaign for our charm movie. Woo! Or, yeah, Woo! Just saying. Um, secondly, um, how do you feel when people come up to you, if they ever have come up to you, and be like, I named my child Paper. I named my child Leo. Well, I got a cat today. Oh, you had a cat today. <laughs> it's my cat lady, Piper. Oh, she had to go. Never mind. Because I, I actually do know somebody. Somebody who actually named their children Prue, Piper, and Phoebe. They had three girls. I saw Prudence today. Wow. Yeah. I did, I did. Yeah. And by the way, when I do have a daughter, she will be named Piper. Just saying. Okay, all right. Uh, but yeah, how does that make you feel? Or does that like freak you out? It doesn't freak me out. I have the good name. <laughs> when we met in Leo yesterday. I don't think he was named after you, but... No. And then if they say Maybe it's me, I don't buy it, because DiCaprio Maybe. was before it, so uh, I don't buy it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's very flattering. Yeah, it's usually a cat, a dog, yeah. a frog. I've seen a guinea pig. Guinea pig? <laughs> Leo. Name Leo. <laughs>
Thank you, Bella. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. How are you doing? It's very cool. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is actually a question for Holly, because Brian okay. isn't on this show, but I'm going to try to word it in the way that he can answer it. I can't too. answer any questions about that show. We're just not allowed to say anything, ever. Like, I don't even want to say the name of the show. Okay, go ahead. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> okay, that threw me through a loop. Okay, um, that's okay. Right. That's my job. That's my job up here. It's right. Yeah. Um, would you ever like to see your role on Pretty, Pretty Little Liars expanded? And Brian, would you ever consider doing... Um, like guest appearance if there was a uh, role for you. I, I mean, of course. I'm, I'm an actor. I audition. Uh, you know, if uh, it came along and they liked what I did, I'd, of course I'd do it. Yeah, it's a good job. Yeah. Sorry. Need a new husband? It's too I do. Actually, oh, no, not right now because I'm um, with the baker. Uh, He's, well. Is he young and hot? Yes. <laughs> Life imitating her. No. Um, I would, absolutely. Um, <laughs> Wizard World would sincerely like to apologize <laughs> for implying that you're brain and you're not brain. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, like, let's keep it up there. But if you sign it, it will still signify some significant value. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's not a first. I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> no. um, but, don't mind them. Um, but what's great about the job for me right now is that my kids are still really little, and so I get to be home with them a lot of the time, and I get to go to work sometimes. So. Well, that makes you know. sense. Yeah. Yeah. But of course. Anytime they call me, I, I usually show up. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi over there. Hi. Holly, how many yes. tattoos do you have, and at what season was it okay for them to stop covering them up? It was basically when the girl said, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to say two. We stopped covering them in two, because between all of us, we had so many of them that it was time consuming and when the girls wore so little clothes, you know, there was more to cover up. Um, so it became a time issue, it just became not such a big issue for our producers that we had them because, you know, when we started the show there was this like preconceived notion that only bad guys had tattoos and so, you know, it, they loosened up after a while. Um, but to answer the other part, I have about, um, I'm gonna say three and a half because one of them's half lasered off. <laughs> so kind of there, but kind of not. Whose name is it? It was Leo. <laughs> I've moved on <laughs> to the baker. <laughs> You'd like him. His name is Steve. I don't want to know. All right. If you would like to be a member of the uh, Brian Cross Support Group, please uh, <laughs> send your donations and your sympathies. <laughs> Hi. It's all right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, I would like to know if I noticed the birth order shift almost on the show, where at first um, how you played Piper as like the middle child with Prue. Yes. And then it then like shifted. That well, <laughs> but like you know, in real life that wouldn't happen. So how did you feel about the shift? becoming like the older sister with Paige coming in and then Phoebe's role changing. How did that, did that happen like progressively with you guys becoming like a family or was that scripted? Um, no, that was very much scripted. They, they wanted me to assume the position. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, and it was good. It was good for my character. It was good. Then she had some growth and she did something and she wasn't the worry wart middle child anymore. So it was good fun for me. Yes. Felt like you became the older one. I tried. Couldn't quite step into those shoes completely, even though we wear the same size and I can steal hers. Um, but um, I tried. Good job. Thanks.